Representative Robert Pittenger, a Republican of North Carolina, appeared last week at the Celebrate America Revival meeting in Washington, D.C. It's an evangelical Christian meeting, and his comments were disturbing. The most important message that needs to be heard in this city is the gospel and love of Christ. Well, that transforms lives. You know, we've seen some court rulings that have unsettled us, cause us a great pain in our heart for our country. I don't hold fault with those who believe different than me. They just don't know my Savior. They don't know the one who loved me and gave himself for me. And that's my mission. That's my primary mission as a member of Congress. Yes, to serve my constituents, to serve my region and my state and my country, but we're here as emissaries for Christ. And the man across the street who lives in that real big white house, God loves him. And God is working in his heart because we're praying for him. That he would know the love of Christ. It transforms everything. It transforms everything we do and think and believe. That, you know, I don't care what issue that we work on, in public policy and legislation, it all comes down to the reality of Christ. Yeah, um, that's unacceptable. That guy should step down. You can't do that. You can't do that. You're allowed to be personally as religious as you want to be in America, of course. You can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. But you cannot bring your religious beliefs and ideas into the public square and try to implement them into law. You can't do that. That's the exact opposite of what the government in America was founded on. We were the first secular nation in the world where we said there's a separation of church and state. The government cannot establish a religion. There's going to be no religious test for office. And we're going to be ruled not by somebody's interpretation of their own God, but we're going to be ruled by democracy and logic and conversation. And we try to find the right answer empirically, based on what's happening in this world, we're not going to bring in supernatural nonsense into the conversation. He's saying the exact opposite. And so condescending. He's like, you know, I don't blame people who don't believe as I do. Oh, well, thank you. So kind. You don't blame me. Uh, but they don't know my Savior, he says. Well, what about you not knowing other people's Savior? Or you not knowing what other people believe if they don't, if they don't believe in a Savior? How about that? If a Muslim says that to you, would you say, that's cool? Look, I know, okay, so you don't know Allah, because you believe in a different religion, but you just haven't met my Savior, the great Allah, and the religion of Islam. Would you respond to that by saying, oh, well, I guess the person's right, and I better sit down and listen? No. But when it's you talking, that is what you believe. Well, I don't fault them for not believing what I do, but they haven't graduated to my level yet. They don't know my Savior. Maybe it's all in your fucking head. Have you ever thought of that? And he says, the number one mission, my main job is to be an emissary for Christ. So you're saying, I would like to make America the Christian version of Saudi Arabia. I would like biblical law to rule us all. And specifically, I would like my interpretation of biblical law to rule us all. And here's why this is so dangerous. Insofar as somebody actually believes what they're saying when they talk about that, this is where fascism grows out of. Like, fascism can grow out of this kind of theocratic thinking. Because if you truly believe that anything you do, by definition, is backed by God, the Almighty, who's omnipotent, well, then you don't tolerate any dissent whatsoever. You don't uh, take any uh, counter-opinions into consideration. You don't really give a shit about the democratic will of the people. Because you know at the end of the day, whatever I say goes because I got my God behind me and I really believe that. 